Hi, my name is Casey, and today I will be discussing theoretical models and foundations in family nursing practice. Thank you for joining me. As authors Denham, Eggenberger, Young, and Kermoy discuss, we all develop our, our ideas of what family is through our own lived experience of what being a part of our individual families means to us. We develop concepts of what each role in a family unit means, and we go on to teach our offspring those same ideologies. This is where the importance of using family nursing theories and models comes into play. Denham et al. stresses the importance of using family nursing theories and models as roadmaps to guide us in thinking about families outside of our own perceptions, because families are all different. Using family nursing theories and models to guide nursing care allows a nurse to use evidence-based research to develop better plans of patient-centered care. This presentation will focus specifically on the Illness Beliefs Model, co-developed in 2009 by Lorraine Wright and Janice Bell, both RN PhDs. Lorraine M. Wright is also known for developing the Trinity Model and for co-developing the Calgary Family Assessment and Intervention Models of 2013. In order to aid in understanding of the Family Beliefs Model, I'd like to start with two quotes. The first, illness is a family affair. Everyone in a family experiences the illness. No one family member has cancer, depression, chronic pain, or renal failure. From the onset of symptoms through diagnosis and treatment, other family members are impacted by and reciprocally influence the illness. Beliefs are the heart of healing. Constraining beliefs increase illness suffering and facilitating beliefs decrease illness suffering. Lorraine Wright started the Family Nursing Unit Clinic at the University of Calgary in 1982, and it was the clinic that allowed for the education and clinical experience needed to develop the illness belief theory. As students and practitioners work with families experiencing illness and suffering in order to gain understanding that would ultimately lead to techniques to soften the suffering, Wright and Bell 2009. The illness beliefs model is centered around the concept of treating the family unit instead of simply focusing on the patient, and the model aims to help those suffering with illness, their family, and healthcare workers alike by better understanding how beliefs can increase illness suffering or invite healing. Wright and Bell, 2009, page 6. The model, like most family nursing models and theories, begins with assessing a patient and their unique family situation. The illness beliefs model further examines the patient and their family to better understand their beliefs overall, their beliefs about family, beliefs about illness, beliefs about therapeutic change, and beliefs about clinicians. Each of these beliefs will influence the patient's healthcare experience and how they experience illness and suffering. Main concepts in the illness beliefs model include constraining beliefs, which are beliefs that hinder health promotion or create an obstacle in healing during illness whether it be mental or physical. Facilitating beliefs are those beliefs that promote health positivity and health acceptance. This belief model aims to achieve effective communication and a mutual trusting relationship between healthcare members, patients, and families. The model seeks to first identify obstacles and then remove them from the healthcare environment while supporting the patient, the family, by praising and supporting positive changes. Therapeutic conversation was the tool used during the research phase of developing this model, and to do so, researchers videotaped and recorded the therapeutic conversations between nurses and families to examine how the nurses responded to patients and how patients responded to nurses during questioning. Article Conserving the Vitality of Suffering, Addressing Family Constraints to Illness Conversations. There states that to a nurse reading this article, communication may seem like a simple topic. However, nurses and the healthcare team alike are human and we have our own biases and preconceived notions. It is important to address family constraints to illness conversation in the same way it is important to address our own constraints to an illness by keeping our beliefs out of the equation for the patient. The article explains that therapeutic conversation begins with really listening to the patient and their family, which begins by making time and space for this communication in daily practice. The healthcare member is then able to determine which beliefs stated constrain or facilitate health positivity and internal contentment despite illness. Wright and Bell state that healthcare providers, families, and patients are alike and that each person is able to influence lives, relationships, behavior, illness, suffering, and healing. The illness belief model uses the term moves to express the relationship and exchange that occurs between the healthcare team member and the family. Our macro moves defined by Wright and Bell are creating a context for changing beliefs, distinguishing illness beliefs, challenging constraining beliefs, and strengthening facilitating beliefs. Also uses the term micro moves 
in order to explain the interventions used during therapeutic conversations to achieve the macro moves. Terms listed below are not outright defined in the illness belief theory. Therefore, this author will conceptualize the terms using key concepts and premises of the nursing model. The illness beliefs model Wright and Bell state that illness is a family affair. The main concepts of the theory address the family equally to the patient. This author defines the term family in relation to the model as any extension to the patient that he or she deems to be family. The author argues that the model would define family as any relationship where cathexis exists. Health. The illness beliefs model encompasses the patient's belief of what their health is and their perception of individual health. The model is also based on the power of changing beliefs that constrain health positivity, and so health takes into consideration the patient's health care potential according to the health care team. Environment. The environment would include the patient and family unit's physical setting in addition to the mind frame and healing space that the patient believes they are in. The goal of the illness beliefs model is a calm healing environment. Nursing. Nurses act as patient advocates to change constraining beliefs through active listening during therapeutic conversations. Nursing utilizes multiple facets and strengths in training. A powerful example of the application of the illness beliefs model is applying this model to bereavement to help families and patients overcome grief. An example of this is in the article Waiting to Return to Normal, an exploration of family systems intervention in childhood cancer. It explains that in order to soften the suffering, nurses introduce interventions during therapeutic conversations that include recognizing the patient's illness and suffering but also giving them power to own their suffering and creating a plan that gives them power over their illness. The article also uses the illness beliefs model to highlight the importance of giving families closure by encouraging family strengths. Families living with chronic illness beliefs about illness, family, and healthcare. A research study was conducted in Sweden with seven families with the goal of better understanding illness beliefs of families enduring chronic illness. He highlights the importance of nurses engaging in therapeutic conversations because of the improved outcomes of healing through therapeutic belief-centered communication and how the approach offers support to both patients and family involved in chronic illness. A second article exploring the beliefs of Japanese mothers caring for a child with disabilities was completed in Japan in 2015 to assess the beliefs of Japanese mothers that had a child with a disability using the illness beliefs model. The mother was interviewed using therapeutic conversation and as a result new information was provided on the unique cultural experience of Japanese women caring for a disabled child including cultural influences and stigmas as well as the mother's beliefs as influenced by their culture on both the definition of a disability and health. Each article mentioned illuminates the power of therapeutic conversation in achieving a better understanding of beliefs towards health and illness that greatly impact our patients each day. By understanding our patients' belief as a healthcare team, we are better equipped to remove the constraints hindering patient healing and facilitate enhanced patient-centered care. Thank you.